Hi, welcome to SPR Videos. Today is July 29th, and we are continuing our very early coverage of week one in college football with Troy West from allplayswin.com. Right now we're looking at uh, Washington, Boise State. Our regular viewers know how spot on Troy has been historically with Seattle area teams. Troy West, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks a lot, Pete. I appreciate it. Yeah, sometimes I'm a little hesitant not only to give these out for free, but to give it out this early. Obviously, a lot can change with the line, a lot can change sure. with, with injuries, but... I will come out and say right now, this is one of my favorite games of week one, and I truly believe it will be one of my favorite games throughout the course of the college football season. So listen carefully. Okay, well, I'm definitely listening carefully. And yeah, I mean, the lines are almost guaranteed to change by kickoff. And certainly there can be a lot of information. Again, this is July 29th. So if anything happens uh, in August, that's not being taken into account in this video. Right now, though, I'm going to quote five dimes uh, lines, uh, Boise State minus 10 and a half. It was 11 uh, a few weeks ago. Now it's down to 10 and a half and the totals 56 and a half and heritage also has this game up boise state minus 10 and a half and of course this is chris peterson returns to boise we know that washington is going to be terrible this year for a pac-12 team there's still a pac-12 team though you know a double digit underdog in a week one big game like this at boise state boise state returned 17 starters but they do have to reload at quarterback and running back so the question is 10 and a half it's still a lot of points to be giving to a pac-12 team especially coached by chris peterson especially in his return to boise my sense is the best bet here as of right now is the under 56 and a half uh, boise state's gonna have a great defense this year we know that washington probably will be a little bit uh, uncertain with their footing on offense i like under 56 and a half i also think it's going to close closer to like 53. What do you think about that, Troy? Yeah, you bring up good points, Pete. Actually, I had a good lean on the under. It's something we've evaluated very closely, but my official pick is without a doubt on Boise State okay. minus the points. This Boise State, te State team, Pete, is one of these teams that I think truly could run the table and be in the BCS conversation. They have a very easy schedule where they do not face a top 25 team all year. You bring in the revenge factor. This is a team that's been blown out by Washington a couple of times here in the recent past. Chris Peterson coming back to his team that he turned, I don't want to say turned his back to, but left for a better opportunity. That's going to hurt. Washington loses three starters to the NFL draft beat. Their defense is depleted. They return it. They have no turn. Nobody on the offensive line. They lose their starting quarterback. They lose their top playmaker on offense in the spring practice to an injury. This Washington team rebuilding mode would be a nice thing to say about Washington. And now right. you need to go travel north to play in one of the toughest places to play in college football a team where this team's almost unbeatable in their home stadium. And like you said, Pete, 17 returning starters. They do have two quarterbacks that are competing for this job. I don't think it's going to be a big drop off from Grant Hedrick. Grant Hedrick, I actually believe, was one of the weaker points of this team last year. So you bring in two guys that have been itching to get their opportunity. This game's got bloodbath written all over it. I think it's going to be about a 35 to 14 type of football game, and Boise runs away with this one. All right, so then you would also uh, moderately agree with uh, my lean to the under 56 and a half, because I think this line's going to close up lower than 56 and a half uh, as well by kickoff. I, I do. I would lean under. The only reason why I wouldn't make an official play on it is I do think Boise State could get to that point where they get 40, 50 points mm -hmm. themselves. This Washington defense is going to be extremely vulnerable. They're extremely thin, and I think Boise State could get up. They've got enough playmakers to really put up a lot of points, especially at home. Washington hasn't seen an offense like Boise State for quite some time. And it could be a, with a lot of young, young talent on this Washington defense, they could be in for a rude awakening. That's why I would stay away. But I do think, like you said, Boise State's defense outstanding. Washington's going to have a really tough time moving the football. Well, you know, in in recent years, you've given a lot of picks uh, favoring the Seattle Seahawks, favoring Washington. You got, even though those were all winning picks for the most part, uh, you did get a little bit accused of being a homer. But here, obviously, not at all. You're uh, super down on Washington, not afraid to load up against them. Right, Troy? Not at all. Not at all. This is a business, Pete, where <laughs> money's most important. And my money will be with the Boise State Broncos. All right. Troy West, final picks on this game and all other games are at his website, allplayswin.com. Thanks so much, Troy.